Okay, this is the uh, part of the video where I get to talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about my own drone video. Uh, it's just a basic way of me to, uh, to explain how I've done things and uh, why I did some of the shots I did and why I've edited it this way. So hopefully, if the screen recording works, I should be able to uh, run the video and talk over it at the same time. So that's how it goes. The first I've done this, so uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so the first shot is me just flying through the main entrance of the castle in Sutherlands. Uh, if you look very carefully, um, you see a little head poking out here, that's my son, uh, just <laughs> trying to get out of the shot, but uh, he's a little head popped in there. Um, I don't think you can see it, I think, if uh, I'm actually know he's there. Uh, second shot here is uh, the bird's eye view. Um, try the best to get this shot dead centre uh, of this frame, but it didn't quite work out when I actually filmed it, so I had to do a little bit of jiggly pokery around whilst editing it to uh, get, get it dead in the centre. And again, here, <laughs> that's me uh, standing in the uh, doorway there. I am uh, uh, don't realise actually until I got home and looked at the footage that. I'm actually in all the shots, I think, and I think all my family in the shots at all times. Uh, so, yeah, it's one of those things I didn't really think, think about at the time. I was all looking around the castle and I just forgot and I'm actually trying to film something here. Uh, okay. Uh, like the shot, um, a good aerial view of the castle itself. Um, these steps here, you can't quite see really, but they are really steep, so as soon as you get to the main entrance here with the climb up these steps get to the actual castle. Um, I was also <laughs> also I had a few other visitors here, they they turned up. Um, I did ask them if they were okay with flying the drone around they were more than happy to let me continue. Again, there's my family here sitting around sitting on their mobile phones waiting for me to finish what I'm doing. Uh, as you can see here in this shot there's loads of trees everywhere. Um, I didn't realise how many trees there were. I've been here a few times and it's not until you start flying around and it's a bit windy and you realise how, uh, <laughs> how difficult it is to fly around with trees blowing around. Uh, I did this shot because this is the actual village I'm in, it's Sutton Balance just outside Maystone. I uh, really wanted to get this shot in somewhere. I'm not 100% sure whether it works as part of the video but <sighs> don't really care to be honest and it's my video so this shot stays in. Uh, again another sweeping shot of the castle from above. Um, again it does show just how many trees there are around so I'm very very careful with this shot to make sure I don't get any near any trees. You know, it was a little bit breezy so I didn't really go as high as I wanted to. Yeah so you get trees to the left, trees to the right and Trees pushed behind. Well, this is a close up of the entrance. I see the brickwork here. Um, again, it's a medieval castle, so um, it, I like this shot just because I was quite the closest I got to the actual building itself. So we wanted to be able to show a bit of the masonry and how it's all put together. And in a distance, so you could just about make out the stunning scenery. Um, what, I, what I was trying to do uh, was just give a few glimpses of the scenery behind but not show it fully till well, you'll see why, uh, hopefully in the next couple of minutes. So, oh, just go back a bit. Yeah, so there, this is the top right hand corner there. It's some of the scenery just about up here. Uh, slightly different shot this time. I've actually just hovered above and just used the, the camera tilt. Uh, wheel just to give me something different rather than keep sweeping around and up and down. It's just, just brings a nice reveal shot. And I think I stopped it quite well there. I think I judged that quite well to get an even amount of castle in. Could have gone a little bit to the left, I suppose, to get a whole castle in this shot, but uh, yeah, I was happy with that. Uh, this is inside the castle, so again shows a bit of the uh, interior and I was trying to, well, I 
try and get some light leaks. I've got some light leaks of the sunshine coming in. Um, let's have a look where they are. Yeah, here. So, looking back now, I wish I tried to line this shot up with the music. So as the music starts to sort of tinkle, <laughs> the, uh, the light leaks happen at the same time, but I didn't quite get it right. Again, a few of the countryside, and I fade it out here just to, just in time of the music. Um, I love this little bit here. Um, again, it's main entrance, um, and I just ascended as far as I could. Um, <clears throat> there's a little bit more to this sequence, really, but I just wanted to keep it in time with the music. Uh, I think the music builds up here, and then I was able to uh, just bring in the final couple of shots when the music is a little bit dramatic. And so again, just got that um, subtle glimpse of, of the uh, the countryside. But this is the main shot that I've I was trying desperately to get when I was there. A bit difficult because unfortunately I couldn't get a satellite, uh, enough satellite lock from inside Jessica Castle. So I had to fly around for a little while just to get the, the satellites to lock onto the onto the drone, um, and then fly back into the castle and not quite land it, but just hover it around so I can get as large as I possibly could to get this shot of um, the shot of basically. So I think it must be in an old window. Because uh, you've got a silver birch behind, um, so being able to rise up through the through the inside of the castle uh, was quite a nice touch. Like this bit, and then what I do now is just reveal that whole massive view of the countryside. I think you can see it about 20, 30, 40 miles, um, looking out towards Headcorn, I believe. But uh, yeah, it looks not exactly the clearest day, but I, I, I would think on a clear, clear day, I can probably see it be 30, 40 miles from here. I mean, look at that. That's, that's one of the shots I was really trying to get. Um, we'd love to go back here again and see if there's a sunset or a sunrise on this area. That'd be awesome. Uh, this shot, to be honest, was a bit of a filler. I was struggling to find another shot just just to fill in a few a few seconds before the very end. So that's someone's house. Uh -huh. Uh, this final shot, I just thought I'd leave the final shot of the actual castle itself. Um, it makes a quite a good final shot, I think. Um, it's dead centre, gives a good outline of the castle itself. It's got nice, it's framed nicely with trees around, and <laughs> it's all set me there standing still. And then I just fade it out to the end. Subscribe now. Subscribe now.